all right it's time to give back to society because society has given a lot to me of course you've been with me all through when i started this business from youtube i think seven years back down the line i wasn't a married man then a very young chap trying to survive and today now i'm married with a child as a matter of fact i'm expecting my second child <laughs> in another two three weeks from now so some probably before you get this video that baby may have already arrived so hopefully we'll be jerrying up for that so that's why it's good for you to be good and also do good when you have the opportunity to so uh like i said society has given a lot to me and i want to give back to society so i'm actually bringing up a program uh, you'll be seeing a lot of students on my videos, secondary school students. So what I'm trying to do now is I've submitted letters to virtually most of the schools in my state here. Uh, with time, we we'll extend it to outside my state, Bayosa. So what I'm doing is trying to bring in secondary schools into the, you know, uh, our farm here and educate them on the prospects of agriculture. Because many students today don't know the values of agriculture. They want to become doctors, they want to become lawyers, they want to become engineers, just like every child's dream. But agriculture is so valuable to our survival and in our economy today. So that is why I have taken it upon myself to carry out this free training exercise for secondary schools. Because when you catch them young, you, you catch them better. We don't want to look ahead to the universities now. We want to groom them from the secondary school uh, to whet their appetites on the prospects and the benefits of going into uh, commercial and subsistent farming for household use. So uh, you stay tuned. This video is strictly for students. You, not, you may not see me again on the video because most of my farm staff will be the ones to handle the students in their different units. So today you also be seeing our training facility because we'll move the students from one facility to the other. So basically what I have in my farm is rabbit farm, grass cutter, snail, fish, pig, poultry, layers and broilers. So those are the things I have in my farm. I know many persons have been waiting to see my facility. Well, this is a training aspect of it, so it's not the entire farm, but you would have the opportunity of seeing the students in these different units on the farm. So we're just trying to give back to society what society has given to us. So it's absolutely free. It's a free training. So uh, this will be the beginning of a series of videos where you'll be seeing secondary school students with different uniforms because, of course, different schools have different school uniforms. So we'll be bringing it in series and hopefully we'll be able to have uh, time to visit some other states and invite them to come here and see what we are doing and also to learn the prospects of agriculture so that we can uh, sustain ourselves in our country without depending on outsiders for everything we consume so please sit back relax the video is not that long we're just going to make short short clips of every unit we can take you through all the process of lecturing them on each of the units so we'll make a short video of the students on each of the units you see most of my staff handling the training exercises for them so that is what this video is about and like i said we is going to come in series because there are going to be lots of schools coming in for this uh, free training exercise this is just our way of giving back to society here at Kesta Emos Consultancy Services Limited. All right. That is why we decided to cover it up with uh, uh, this uh, wire mesh. And then there's also a net on top which uh, we need to see the net there. Mawela, first thing to do is to prevent the... There's one particular fly. Once you go and uh, the certificate, you see a particular green fly. But some of you are, are not brought up. Oh, any any rotten thing, for you know, that green fly that looks like the house fly. I've forgotten the scientific uh, name. It will come and perch on, on the snail and it's going to drop its own piece. The piece looks very fine and white. Within a few minutes, the whole snail is gone. They'll just kill it. Ah, this is 
Let them keep going in. Yeah. 